So guys, I was browsing Reddit and I came across this potentially leaked information and I wanted to jump into it and try to debunk it with you all and see what you all think. So first things first, a new gear set, Defiant. It's gonna be a two piece set, meaning you could have three sets of it, defense plus 10% and minus 15% damage taken from enemy AOE attacks can be forged from Defiant chunks. Meaning if you had three pieces of it, three sets of it, it's gonna be minus 45% Damage taken from enemy AOE attacks. Arena meta changer? Maybe. Let's go ahead and move to the next bullet point they have, or bold section. New faction, which is interesting because we haven't heard anything whatsoever about a new faction. Um, at least not recently, I don't think. Uh, with Shadowkin, I feel like we had a little bit of a heads up. But a new faction, Sylvan Watchers, which is interesting. Kind of similar to like Wood Elves, which I've heard talked about before. But moving on, A Lil, apparently a new champion. And going down to the comment section, apparently the new champion is going to basically be a hardcore necrit counter because of this A2 ability. Attacks one enemy will ignore strengthen, stone skin, increased defense, and ally protection buffs, which is crazy because we have no real stone skin counter outside of bomb champions. So that could definitely be pretty cool. And then his A3 ability basically removes increased defense and strengthen and replaces them with decreased defense and weaken, which is nuts in and of itself. And then on top of that, the buff removal and debuff placement cannot be resisted. So you have like a nuker who doesn't need accuracy, does crazy stuff, and if this dude can do a lot of damage, this would be a crazy champion. But remember, this is all leaked information, right? So moving down to the comments section with some pretty interesting stuff, okay? So this right here is pretty cool. If this is true, talking about the legendary champion I just mentioned, it would be a void legendary and never be on any guaranteed event. It's way too OP and not just a Necker counter or stone skin counter. But a lot more, basically. For me, it sounds more like fan fiction. Definitely, maybe. Maybe fan fiction. Um, but sure, and, and three times defiant equals 30% defense with 45% AoE damage. Very believable. So, let's go ahead and try to debunk this. We've got test server access. Let's see if it's true. Is there a new faction? There is a new faction. Is there a champion named Alil? There is a champion named Alil. Does he have... And ignore strength and stone skin, increased defense. He absolutely does. A3 ability does remove increased defense and strengthen, replaces them with decreased defense and weaken, which is absolutely crazy. He also has the nutty passive, which doesn't really increase his damage, but increases his survivability by quite a bit. Increases his champion's HP by 2,000 and defense by 100 for every 1,000 attack they have. Fills his champion's turn meter by 10% whenever they receive a buff, which could make it a little bit weird actually speed tuning this champion. But obviously, that post was basically correct. Now, that's not all the information, though. Let's jump into actual all the updates, which should be coming out later this week at the time of this video being released. And we have, number one, the Defiant set. It's true. I believe it should be coming out in the Forge Pass. Um, the Defiant set, I can't actually move myself. Let me try to scroll this up. Okay, it's exactly what they said in the video. They removed my head. I don't want to hide my webcam. Uh, defense plus 10%. Minus 15% damage taken from enemy AoE attacks, and it is a two-piece set. Not only that, though, the Instinct set, which was a previous Forge Pass set, is going to be changed from ignoring 15% of enemy's defense to now ignoring 20% of enemy's defense, also a 12% increase in speed. So anybody who bought the Instinct set, I was a big advocate for it. I thought it was great. Anybody who bought the Forge Pass then and forged some of the Instinct gear, now it's going to be a little bit better. So if you're using it on your damage dealers then... It's going to be even better now. I have it on my Cold Hearts. I'm not going to use it in the arena, but for PvE champions, Cold Hearts, Royal Guards, Husk, champions like that, I think it was really good then, and it's even better now. I mean, an extra 5% defense ignore can definitely go a long way. So we have a new set, a buff set on Instinct. We have a new faction. We have a new buff, which is interesting. I'm not for sure if it's as good as I originally thought it was going to be, but it's Taunt. So as far as how Taunt actually worked for me, it could have just been a bug. Here is a screenshot of the exact breakdown on how Taunt will work. I'll go ahead and hide my webcam in case you guys wanna screenshot this, read through it yourself. I'm not gonna read through it all. There's a little bit of complexities and having me read over it may not help you out, but we're gonna see more of it. I'm gonna do some more testing on these champions and figure it out better before this actually gets released. But there's the information. The next thing I wanna show you while my webcam is hidden is I actually wanna go through all of these champions. So if you're somebody who wants to actually read these champion skills, I'm gonna click through them all. So if you wanna pause the video at any point, you can go ahead and check out the upcoming faction champions before they're actually released. So obviously you're gonna to have to pause the video. There's not a ton of champions to go through, 
But if you're getting bored, just pause the video, read through the skills. I'm not going to read through them right now because that would take absolutely forever. And um, I want to be respectful of you guys' time. But these champions definitely bring some pretty interesting skill kits. Definitely. I'm definitely looking forward to trying some of them. Alil seems pretty awesome. However, I tested him a little bit in the arena, and he doesn't quite seem to be as meta-breaking Necrit hardcore counter. Is it? I don't know. Maybe Necrit counter is needed. Maybe it's not. I mean, it's a Void Legendary champion. He's going to be pretty difficult to get. If he was like a free champion, that'd be a lot different. But I don't necessarily think he's going to be like super top meta. His A3 ability didn't seem to nuke super hard. But I guess we'll find out closer to when people actually start playtesting him more. Like I said, I literally only played him for maybe 20 minutes. So my opinion, take it with a grain of salt. Doesn't really mean anything whatsoever. Literally very, very, very short playtime. So we'll continue looking through these champions. Not a ton more to go through. I don't think we have any uncommon champions whatsoever here, which is uh, definitely interesting. But we're going to continue clicking. We have, I think, two or three more. The skins definitely look cool. The new faction looks absolutely incredible. But I mean, Clarium's artwork in general always looks fantastic, right? So definitely, definitely some good looking champions. I love the druid look of all these champions. The druid, wood elf type look gives me some like World of Warcraft vibes. I like that a lot. So I think my favorite new champion is probably this dude. This dude just looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think. I think he looks pretty sweet. Uh, and then all these champions at the top. Super druid vibes. Actually, I used to main a druid in World of Warcraft. So I definitely like these looks a lot. So there we go. Druids, big fan of them. But there we go, guys. That is a new update. So we've got a new faction coming. We've got a new buff coming. We don't have anything new in Faction Wars yet. It may be coming soon as far as an actual new champion. I doubt it. Probably just going to be some more rewards, higher reward tier, more of these rewards. Probably not a new champion. But we got a new buff, new faction, new gear, and buffed instinct set. Pretty interesting. I think it's a pretty impactful patch to say the least. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. If you have anything interesting from any of those skill kits you read through, leave it down in the comment section below. But the leak was true but didn't give all the details definitely a lot more to look forward to but guys i hope you all enjoy it best of luck be mindful if you go to pull for the uh rotos or siffy 10x because you may want to save your shards for this faction right save your shards be mindful about your energy whenever this faction is released you're going to want to farm a lot of spider to actually start earning some accessories for those factions so shards and energy are two things you'll be mindful of, okay? But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.